I'm currently practicing my Dwayne The Rock Johnson stare. <laughs> Trash. Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> it feels weird not starting a video with hello everyone, so... Hello everyone! Before we get into this video, I have very, very exciting news. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually buy tickets for my first ever concert right now. My first concert will be in Berlin on the 2nd of September this year. Now it's out. <laughs> this is the point where they go live, the tickets, like right now when this video goes live. So you're gonna be the first ones to buy them if you click the link in my description. If you have the chance to be in Berlin on that day, then maybe you wanna buy tickets and say hi. <laughs> no, this is really, really, really crazy for me because this is such a dream of mine to finally actually perform my songs on stage live to you broccolis I don't know, I feel like it's a dream come true and it really really means so much to me so if you could be there that would be so amazing if you buy a ticket I will also have a little meet and greet with all of you after the show there's also gonna be merch there's gonna be everything happening so I planned a lot for you and it's gonna be a really really dope show yeah I hope I won't fuck up link is in the description that's my little announcement <laughs> actually huge announcement for me personally <laughs> okay let's get into this video this is the video where i order everything that you send me i did that once before and it was kind of traumatizing but honestly i was like what are the broccolis up to you know i just want to see what you're interested in at the moment what you want to see what you want to try out what you want to eat and i'm just hoping that it's not going to be bad stuff. So the first thing we're gonna be trying out is something that Matteo's Art Gallery sent me and it is an electric breakfast egg McMuffin maker and they say it could be a potential sleigh product <laughs> and I ordered this potential sleigh product because obviously I also want to make my own egg McMuffin. Let's see if we can make a great breakfast sandwich. Here's my Hamilton Beach. My Hamilton Beach. It is 5 p.m. and I'm ready to make myself a this was actually so hard to get like you can't just order it off of amazon in germany i once again had to order it from the u.s amazon <gasps> so small i thought this was gonna be way bigger well. <laughs> Don't worry, we got an adapter. I'm just scared that the German electricity is gonna be too much for this because I once had an accident in the kitchen with an American oven. So I can't even use this? Apart from the fact that I actually don't have an adapter. <laughs> Gotta love my sandwich bit. Hello, it is two days later. I bought an electricity converter and apparently I can just plug it into this and plug this into my electricity and then it should work. The American sandwich maker runs with American electricity, so 110 volts. And in Germany, we have 230 volts. So that's a bit more than the 110 volt in America, but I hope this huge ass thing will do its job. As you can see, the green light is lighting. I think we're ready now. I got my quick start instructions. Spray it with a little bit of oil spray. Schinken Picker. I feel like it's not gonna fit in there. <laughs> my eggs, my eggs. Um. <laughs> I think I'm just supposed to put this on top of the uncooked egg now, to be honest. The egg is leaking! Well, that is a mess. And all that's left to do is, I think, slide the egg out so it connects with the whole sandwich. Where is the egg? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we just gotta help a little bit. And here is our McMuffin! Just ignore all the egg that's laying around here. I'm gonna attempt a second attempt now. I have these toasties and maybe they're more suitable because they're actually for toasting it. Uh, unlike the brioche bread, we're doing better than the first time and we're also faster. Now we can put this down. I just hope this time it won't leak. Ah, I feel like the egg's also egging faster. Yes, looking so much better. Let's put this on. Definitely so much better than my first time making this. 
I love that this didn't even touch the top. <laughs> but I think now we can slide the egg out. <gasps> oh, it looks so much better than before. We're uh, stuck, but no prob. I have to say though, Maria's looks better just in terms of shape and everything. This is just a flat little UFO. <laughs> well, note to self, it's maybe not the best idea to use vegan meat for this because it's just melting. <laughs> This is our first attempt. It's very dark. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I actually like it. Yeah, do you like it or are you just hungry? Yeah, I like it. Mm. I think you just need some better toppings than I had but the second one definitely turned out better because you have like more of the egg It's an actual layer and not just mush mush. This actually works You just really have to get into it and like practice a little bit I just don't know if it's worth it because you obviously have to clean it afterwards and it's gonna be a bit messy So you have to decide that for yourself, but it works after this very successful Amazing attempt of making my breakfast sandwich. We're going to order what Carlotta sent me and it is is the makeup brand Flower Norris and they say their stuff looks Honestly, breathtaking. Actually, maybe you've seen this makeup before on social media because I feel like it's very popular social media makeup and a lot of beauty gurus have already tried this type of makeup. I thought it was very pretty and now I think it's a very good time to actually order it and try it out because I never like had a reason to do so. But now that I know that Carlotta wants to see that, now is the right time. So I ordered on their website and I do have to say that it was very hard to order there because the website was so buggy and glitchy for some reason. I think I had like five different attempts to order there on five different days because it just didn't work and didn't want to load and then I put something into my basket and then somehow I couldn't remove it afterwards and then it was just there and I had to buy it. That was just very tricky okay but I do have to say just looking at the website all of their makeup really looks Special. Like you've never seen anything like this before other than from this brand because everything looks just so expensive and so detailed and they have these type of stamps in their powder like in the pan and it's just very satisfying and beautiful for some reason and you also don't really want to use it because you don't want to break it which is not good but I'm gonna use it let's look at it I got my cat ears on which means we're gonna do our makeup I'm gonna do my makeup I mean you can do your makeup as well the first thing that I really have to address is the foundation I really like these kinds of foundations but I do have to say the fact that there only is one shade one shade is crazy. The inclusivity, where is she? Where? I think I actually might be lucky that this might be my shade, but I think it's unacceptable. It smells like sunscreen, which is not good because I'm allergic to sunscreen. I do have to say though, it's very sheer and very, very glowy. <laughs> okay, I just powdered my face. It's like not that much coverage, so you can still see a little bit of redness. But I think my pores actually look really good. My nose is a little bit dry, but like here it looks really good. But that could also just be the Huda Beauty setting powder. Next, we're gonna bronze up our face or contour our face. I don't think this is gonna be very bronzy because the shade in there they're gray it is literally just this very cool toned contour shade and then we also have a little highlighter here and this is the brush that I bought with it I think this is supposed to smell like chocolate but it smells so chemically they tried to be Too Faced but they really didn't succeed I wonder how much these cost like in production because that just looks so expensive but maybe they have a way of doing it not expensive I don't know it's really interesting I mean, that works. This is also just one skin tone, obviously. <laughs> let's get back to the highlighter later, but let's now look at the blush, which is, to be honest, the most beautiful blush I've ever seen. This literally gives me magical glow vibes. This was very interesting because it was this kind of gradient blush. So it's like blue and then red down there. I don't know why it's blue. I don't know what color it's gonna give me. So let's give it a dab. Wow, it's literally not doing anything. Is, is something happening? What the fuck? I'm also dipping into both. Like, I'm just like doing this. I don't know why nothing is happening. Like, literally nothing. 
It looks very pretty, but it is trash indeed. <laughs> Luckily, I also bought another blush. This one looks a bit more promising because you can see there's probably more pigment. Yeah, you can see this one. It's also not too pigmented, but I don't think powder blush needs to be super pigmented because you want to build it up. It's not really my color, to be honest. I think it's too peachy for me. A solid blush, I would say. I'm actually gonna go back into this one and now use the highlighter here. I think I'm also gonna use this brush, even though this is definitely not a highlighter brush mm. you have to build it I think it looks really pretty on camera. In real life, it looks a bit too dry. But would I buy this palette again? <laughs> no. Now we're gonna do our eyeshadow with this palette. This is the Paint Your Dream in Strawberry Red palette. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, this is the quote here. <laughs> it does look a bit boring for my terms, but every single eyeshadow palette on this website kind of had the same color palette, very neutral, very like this. And I'm just gonna use this one, I think. I can see it coming. Is it super pigmented? No. Is it buildable? Yes. I think I want to try to darken it with the blue. I just don't know how it's gonna work with the brown, but you know. Live fast, die young. Looks like it's just gonna make it gray. <laughs> I just think it's really expensive because I paid $35 for five shades. This makeup definitely is expensive and I feel like you're just paying for the beautiful packaging. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. But like you can get cheaper and better makeup for definitely less money. I'm gonna dip into this. That is a very glittery shade. Like you don't get a lot of pigment, but you get a lot of tiny little glitters. I don't know if you can see it. But if you expect like metallic pigment, Pigment, this is not the one. It's just a very glittery shade. For my other eye, I'm actually gonna apply this glitter eyeshadow. Ooh, that is some pretty glitter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it has like little blue glitter flakes, like silver, blue, and yellow or something. I Wow. You know what? I'm also gonna apply it on my other eye. I literally want to bathe in this. I think this is one of the most beautiful glitters I've ever tried. Just cannot stop it. It's now dry and it's also like transfer proof. Like there's no glitter on my finger. I will be using this so much, so much. <laughs> this is the Strawberry Rococo Cloud Lip Cream. So it's like matte, but like creamy, satiny probably. Oh, this looks like such an interesting consistency. Oh, it is so matte. I've never tried a lip product like this. Oh my God, you can really easily do gradient lips with this. Like I literally just did that in like 10 seconds. Is that the cloud that is happening on my lips right now? And it was so easy and fast to do because it was so blendable and it's just so cloudy. Is this transfer proof? No, it's not. My verdict. I think it is quite expensive and you are paying for the packaging. I'm quite upset that the foundation just has one shade. I have to say it again. I think the blush was really bad, the gradient blush. I think everything was kind of unnecessary except for the glitter and the lip product. Please get some more foundation shades. Flower nurse. The next thing we're gonna order or that I did order is a suggestion by Basia, Basia, Beja, and it is pickles. Saarkuchen. All of their pickles look really good because I think they're like homemade. They have super many interesting flavors, such as hot Polish pickles, hot and sweet pickles, buzzing beets, kicking cauliflower, sippy zucchini, mean queen olives, <laughs> fiery fungi, sizzling salsa, mama cross bag and barbecue sauce. They really have a lot and now I ordered it of course I had to order ramen pickles because it's me but I hope it's not gonna be too spicy because I've had it with spice after my last video <laughs> uh, uh, oh shit we can't open them oh. Oh. <laughs> here are the ramen pickles mm, it so good. cheers <gasps> I did not expect this kind of spiciness. Wow! I really like the taste though because it's like super sour. It doesn't really have the typical tipple, tipple, <laughs> typical pickle taste because it's not that vinegary. But I really like the sourness. I wonder what's in there. Cucumbers, water, vinegar. <laughs> I guess vinegar is in there. It just doesn't taste that vinegary. But I have to say it smells better than it tastes because the spice is, is just so incredibly overwhelming. Lemon pepper pickles. A zesty delight. <laughs> 
I don't know like it. I thought I would love these. It literally just tastes like cucumber in lemon sauce, but not good. For this one, I was able to not like pay too much attention to the spiciness, but I just didn't like the taste of it. But I think there's also a huge difference between German pickles and American pickles. I can't even tell you what it is exactly, but they do taste super different. I realized that before in another video where I tried pickle stuff from America and it tasted so different. Like I feel like the juice of the pickle is so different and I can't tell you why. It just doesn't taste good compared to the German pickles. And I think that is my problem right now. I'm just so used to the German pickles. I'm still gonna try the last one, which are the taco pickles. It's also spicy in the end. I think the <clears throat> oh, oh. I'm actually really sad that I cannot like these pickles, but I just don't. I really have to say they were not my cup of tea and they were all very, very spicy. And I really did not expect that. I mean, I knew the ramen ones were gonna be spicy, but the other ones, <laughs> and it wasn't just spicy, like a little bit of spice. It really like kicked my ass. And I should know because I just tried 2 million Scoville last week. If you're from America, you might like these because you're used to American pickles. If you ever have the chance to come to Germany and try our pickles, please do that and let me know if you like them because in my opinion, they're so much better. But no hate to the person who makes these pickles. I bet they put a lot of effort into them, into making these flavors and into thinking of the great puns. So the next thing I ordered is suggested by Season Potter, aka CC Pie. They wrote, not sure if they ship to you, but they have a whole line of ocean bomb sailor moon soda in different flavors so you know what that means i ordered sailor moon soda they're so cute right here we have sailor venus sailor mercury sailor mars and sailor moon so we're gonna try sailor mars which is strawberry i expected this to be pink to be honest or red ish you think it's just sparkling water It does not taste like sparkling water. It tastes like straight up sweet soda. It is very sweet. I think this one actually reminds me of Udo Duck a little bit. I like the strawberry one better than the mango one. Here's another ASMR moment for you. I have pear. I think you can really smell it. It almost smells even more fragrant than it tastes. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> pomelo. Mm. I think the best one was definitely pear. I think the least I actually like mango, which is a very controversial opinion in this room right now. <laughs> if you really crave something sweet, something bubbly, something carbonated, then this is really for you. Who was your favorite Sailor Scout? Mine was actually always Sailor Mercury when I was like very little because I just really liked how smart she was. Now I realize that I'm more bunny than Sailor Mercury. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Jupiter. She looks a little bit like you. Oh, oh, oh. There's actually a reason why I have Sailor Jupiter with me because I asked her if I could try something on her. <laughs> and that is the next product that I ordered. Cassie21 wrote me that I should order this specific hair curler. I would love to try it, but um, I have short hair now. There's nothing here, you know, it's just a pity. I actually ordered this before I cut my hair short and it is some kind of very funky, crazy looking hair curler. She has very long and luscious hair. Let's get back into the shabby shaloon. <laughs> oh, that's a different kind of shabby shaloon. You're, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. The Hello Kitty mirror, it survived. <laughs> Maria can stay. I think this is also a dupe for something. It's like a cheap version of an expensive thing. And the funniest thing actually, I think, is that they put their name on there with like a sticker. <laughs> Maybe you don't need the actual one from the brand, which costs like, I think $200. I think this one was just like $50 or something. It was $77, but still cheaper than the original one. I have a bit of angst. A bit of angst, yeah. The Macy Skin Automatic Hair Curler has been designed with ease of use and safety in mind. Thanks to the tangle-free technology and temperature adjustment settings, you are sure to achieve professional curls without heat damage or burns. Is there like a YouTube tutorial or something? I think I don't need to watch it. I think I know what to but do. But where do we put the hair? There. No, <laughs> let me watch a YouTube tutorial. Won't you? Maybe... 
<laughs> what is your concern? Maybe, maybe you can take hair from okay, the back. Okay, okay, yeah. I think I just put it in there like this. How do... Ah! <laughs> is there a... Woo! Just kidding. Maybe your hair is too long indeed. I do not want to curl the ends of the hair. I want to curl all of the hair. That's like cute, but like it's only down here. Why haven't you tried this on your wigs? Fair oh. enough. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are you doing? Want to see how sweaty my hands are? <laughs> oh, that's a good one though. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. You definitely need to twist it around a little more. Like you need to hold the button a bit more. Could it be easier than like a normal curling iron? I don't know. It's still kind of a hit and miss with this thing. Like I never really know 100% if the curl is gonna turn out curly. Oh. <laughs> I look so different. <laughs> I love that there is still like crusty hot sauce on my microphone. I might have spilled a little bit of it on it. What is this knee situation, Maria? <laughs> Next is the scruffy. Suggested by Erica J. She sent me this picture of the scruffy leg shaver, which is apparently a five razor shaver. And when I saw this picture, I literally thought this was, this doesn't exist. This is not real. Obviously you're supposed to like bend it and then like shave your leg like this. <laughs> I was able to order it. I didn't get scammed. It has arrived. Let's look at the scruffy. <gasps> that is humongous. Look how big it is. That's literally gonna go around my whole leg. I mean, maybe that's the point. They wrote me a little thank you note. This is a message from the CEO, Raid. Thank you, Raid. Read. Read. Thank you so much for supporting us all the way over in Germany. Well, the scruffy itself only costs $18.95. I mean, it's a lot of money for... Actually, it's not a lot of money for a razor. Like, razors are super expensive anyway, especially razors for women, for whatever reason. I definitely paid more shipping than I paid for the actual product, which is not an unusual case in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks of this? I mean, obviously Reed. Why would you think of this Reed? Like, did you have like a dream and then you woke up and you were like, I need a razor with five blades. I got 10 extra blades. I'm gonna equip my scruffy. Can you see that the exclamation points are also an emoji? Reed, you're so crazy. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> Imagine you like <laughs> shower at the shower of your friend and then you go to the shower and you see this hanging there. <laughs> I put socks on. I know it's not usually what you put on for shaving your legs, but you know. There's a lot of creeps out here. Can we zoom into my leg hair? As you can see, there's nothing there. <laughs> so maybe I'm not like the perfect person to try this out. But you can see a couple of hairs. And I know I have very wide legs, okay? This is chalk. on your face. I'm just gonna use some shaving cream, which is not actually shaving cream. It's like shape. It's just cream. <laughs> First, we're gonna wet the leg. <laughs> I feel like I'm filming fetish content. <laughs> we're gonna wet it a little bit. Where's my, all of my foam? <laughs> Wow! It's not suitable for down here. It's working from here on. I think it's working. Ow! Ow! There, I cut myself. Gotta be careful, guys. It's razor sharp. <laughs> I think we gotta try this on something hairier. Maria? <laughs> it's not even that hairy, but hairier than mine. I'm gonna be your um, shaver today. Can you see all the hair in there? I think every single one actually like touched her leg except this one. Maria's gonna do it herself now. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it worked. But again, this one isn't like super full. I think this one on the outside is like the one where you have the least pressure maybe. So much better than when I did it at least. It's crazy. It worked. Love it. Maria, maybe you tell us what your verdict of the razor is. It was good. It shaved my legs, but it's too... Uh, mm. 
unhandlich. Yeah. It's not handy. I quote her, it worked. She likes her soft legs now, but she wouldn't use it again. And I think that actually really hits the nail on the head because if you're like in a hurry, you're not gonna grab this huge fucking thing and like carefully do this. Maybe if you like get used to it, I don't know. But I don't really have the urge to get used to it. It's a cute idea, but it's not that cute of an idea. Reed, you still did a good job, even though you seem a little crazy in the head. But I like those people. I have one last thing that I want to try and it got recommended to me by It's Yakima and they said order Jamaican food. It's not technically a link but it's still something to order. Maybe I'm a little bit biased on this one because I've been wanting to try Jamaican food for so long. I mainly always saw people eating like ackee and saltfish because it's like a very popular Caribbean dish. When this person sent me this I was like I'll do it don't worry and I mean we don't really have that many options here in Berlin for Jamaican food, at least not the ones that I know of. I googled it and I found a restaurant called Yaman, which is a cute little Jamaican restaurant here. I've never eaten there before, but now is the time to try it. And Vincent and Maria were so kind to pick the food up for us. So we had a little Jamaican food night. Isn't that great? So here is our takeout food. This is mine. This is ackee and saltfish. That looks so interesting. That's a fruit, by the way. It's a Jamaican fruit. Ackee. Here's Maria's curry chicken. Whoa. Whoa. And here's my ackee and saltfish. <gasps> In the Caribbean, saltfish, also called bacalao, is a meaty white fish that has been preserved for longer storage by salt curing and drying until all the moisture has been extracted. And aki is a fruit of the Sapindetae family, as the lychee and the longa. This is what it looks like. It looks like it's looking at me. Oh, there's also rice underneath. Mmm, it is so salty. Where does the spice come from? But it's really good. It is so rich, like it's so much taste. It's strong. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Flavorsome. I want to try the Aki by itself. It's so soft. It's salty. It doesn't mm. taste like a fruit. It tastes like just very savory. Mmm. Vincent loves it. <laughs> hey, don't steal I want to try yours if it tastes different than mine. Mm, it yours tastes better than mine, actually. <laughs> Vincent has basically the same thing as me, just without the salt fish. Mm. Even Maria likes it and Maria likes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> fish bone. Oh, that's a potato. <laughs> some kind of fried bread. This is plantain. <laughs> I have to say you really have to get used to the saltiness or have something to balance it out. Mmm, the rice. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Is Jamaican food your new favorite food? Maybe. It's so flavorsome. It is so flavorsome. Passing the food check. Well, everyone, that was this video. I did definitely try a lot of interesting stuff that you recommend to me. Let me know what you think of all the things that I've tried in this video. And of course, you can also recommend Recommend me stuff that you want me to order for the next video. Maybe there will be another one of these. You guys really want me to test weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> but that's what I like about you. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, yes. But also don't forget to get your tickets for my concert in the description down below. I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Read Moments. And I will read you in my next <laughs> Goodbye. Have a great night. Have a great evening. Goodbye.